Ant-Man is getting a sequel. That didn't take very long. Greetings, Kyle Universe here, and this is Cosmic News. So Marvel has announced Ant-Man 2, or as it's instead titled, Ant-Man and Wasp, and it is set to be released on July 6th, 2018. I'm wondering which villain will appear in this one. Will it be Porcupine? Whirlwind? Heck, even Egghead is a possibility. Hee hee hee. Excellent. You know, I just realized that both Marvel and DC both have an Egghead character. See, if you're a non-comic fan, this stuff gets confusing. This is probably why we don't have two movies called Captain Marvel. Speaking of, Captain Marvel's movie is going to be moving from its original release date of November 2nd, 2018 to March 8th, 2019, for undisclosed reasons. However, because Ant-Man and Wasp has been scheduled for July 6th, 2018, Black Panther, who had originally had that release spot, was moved up to February 16th, 2018 instead. Now, Infinity Wars is still scheduled for its original dates, so chronologically, because of the change, Black Panther will now come before Part 1, and Captain Marvel, along with Ant-Man and Wasp, will come out after Part 1. So they'll all probably get together for Infinity Wars Part 2. Or as I like to call it, let's break the bank! In other news, Pixar has announced when The Incredibles are coming back to the movie theaters. That's right, my favorite Pixar movie gets a sequel, and its release date is June 21st, 2019. And yet, Tron 3 is still cancelled. You are tearing me apart, Disney! But some good news is coming out of the company as well. Disney just found the voice of Moana, the main character of their upcoming movie titled... M Moana. Moana will be the 56th Disney animated theatrical movie. After seeking out many who auditioned for the part, Oh jeez, I'm gonna ruin this. Alali Krigalo, oh I am so sorry if I butchered that badly, was chosen for Disney's newest princess. She's the one on the left, by the way. I am really looking forward to this one. Moana hits theaters Thanksgiving of next year. And lastly, Warner Brothers signs off on an animated R-rated version of the popular story, Batman the Killing Joke. The announcement was made at New York Comic Con during a panel. Now, this doesn't mean that it indeed will be rated R, but The Killing Joke is a dark story, so at least they have permission to do it if they want to. But just because they can, doesn't mean they should. I mean, some of that book gets really, really dark, and I think there are just some things that shouldn't be animated. Thank you for watching. I'm Kyle Universe. See you out there.